Hey guys, today I wanted to show you how to set up OpenDNS on your computer. You can set this up two different ways. You can set it up on the computer itself or you can set it up on the entire network. So the way that OpenDNS does it is through the DNS, which is a server that all the traffic runs through. So as you can see here, OpenDNS.com, you have a couple of things as far as personal use. The main reason why you'd want to use this is for parental control. They have three different accounts that you can use. They have one that's a home setting that is free that allows you to just customize the filtering and security. They have OpenDNS Home VIP, which is $20 a year, which gives you more st statistics and more support as far as what you can filter. And then they have the pre-configured free. So usually what I do is I don't want to have to worry about accounts. So all I do is I set up the DNS record as the ones to use for the computer. So if you scroll down to the very bottom of the computer, you can see here that we have two different DNS settings. So again, there's two different ways that we can set this up. We can set this up on the router of the home so that all the traffic is pushed through the router. So if you log into your router, you can go to usually your DHCP settings. And right here, mine is set to zero, which means it will take over the ISP or the internet service provider's DNS. So what I would do in this case is take these two different numbers and plug them in right here and then I would save it. A lot of times you have to reboot the router and or power cycle the router, which means save it, let it do its thing, unplug the router, count to 10 or 30, plug it back in, and then it usually will work. Or you can set it up just on the computer. To do it just on the computer, if you're on a local network or a wireless network, right click the icon, click Open Network and Sharing Center. You can also do that by going through Control Panel. You then click the connections, or you can click to manage adapters, but we'll just click the connection here. Here we want to go to properties. And then inside of properties, we want to select Internet Protocol version 4 or IP4 and double click it. So here we can see that right now it's obtaining the IP address automatically, which means your router is giving it an IP address, and then obtain the DNS server automatically we can change that to use the following DNS and we can set it to use those two that are listed on OpenDNS.com. So again we would just take these two numbers and set them in place right here. So we would just type 208.67.222.222 and then on the second line it's an alternate in case the first one is down 208.67 dot two two zero dot two two zero and then the computer will then use it for a content filter like I said there are different tiers you can get more protection or less protection by signing up for the paid or the free one but if you just type in the numbers it will just do adult content filtering so this is an easy way to set it up you can do this on laptops desktops mobile phones and tablets this is a less secure way to do it just because anyone can bypass it on the local machine by re removing it, but there is also other security flaws. They can just go in and type like Google's DNS or any other way to bypass it. So it's more of a first line defense and not necessarily a true 100% blockage of content, but it's at least that first stop. So if you have additional questions or just questions about your computer, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more.